Good morning, everyone. Today, I got the keys to this 2023 Nissan Pathfinder. This is the Rock Creek trim. And right off the bat, how you can tell, obviously besides the badging on the doors, you got these beadlock style wheels and off-road tires. They look really good, especially with the scarlet ember into, uh, exterior color. You also get a different front fascia, LED fog lights, and I'll walk you around some of the equipment that's inside. Everything on this vehicle that you see is standard. This even has the towing package that can tow. It can tow about 6,000 pounds with the additional coolers and all that. I always have to get into the habit of unlocking this. Oh, there we go. All right. So, thought I'd talk to you a little bit about price. So, this thing starts around 42, I believe it's 42,820. Uh, and with uh, destination and everything, you're around 44,855 for this specific uh, build. How this is built out right now, it's 44,855. Uh, let me show you the underside here. So, it has the full floor liner package, especially for Rock Creek. Open this up, you have a pretty nice bin in here. Pretty good size, and then back here, if I lift this up, your jack's right back there. And then you can put these headrests down and the seats fold flat if you want more room in the third row. So you have all this room now if you don't plan on using the third row of seats. You just use that strap to pull it back and put the headrests up. It's a little bit heavier, but that's all right. Okay. I'm going to recline those back a little bit. Because now I'm going to show you what the third row looks like. Manual lift gate, which I thought was kind of odd, but... Oh, of course. <laughs> There it is. I think the key fob looks kind of interesting too. Like it has the remote start, and but it's like a it's like a matte black finish. So I thought that was kind of kind of neat. Now, the seats. If you want to put the seat forward, so this way you can get into the back. There's a button right here. Power folds up. And now we're gonna attempt to get into the back. I'm going to pull this back, and actually, not a bad amount of room back here, I will say. I mean, that I think this seat's about all the way back, so if I were to come over here, still doable. It's not absolutely hateful, so honestly, a good bit of room in the third row. Not too shabby. And now, you don't have to wait for someone to get you out. You can press this button. And it does the same thing. Another thing that's nice with the Rock Creek, this center console here, I'm not gonna remove it, but the second row console here is removable. So if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Put that back. Now we're gonna put this back and sit in the second row. And that seat's pretty much all the way back. Want to make sure the child locks weren't on this time, because that happened to me last video. Super roomy, and I can even move this seat up a little bit so my passengers behind me have a little more room. Either way, great amount of room. I got my own climate back here. Very nice. These are special seats specifically for the Rock Creek trim. The leatherette, like leather on the outside, cloth on the inside with the brownish orange stitching. Copper, maybe. Now, obviously, the vehicle turns off if you have it remote started when you pop the hood. 
So, under the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6. It makes 295 horsepower, 270 pound-feet of torque. And then the transmission, I had just jotted this down. It is a nine-speed, okay. So it's a nine-speed automatic. And uh, fuel economy, you're getting, It's the city and highway is actually pretty close in this thing. You get 20 miles a gallon around town and 23 miles a gallon on the highway. So the city mileage is actually pretty decent as far as V6s are concerned. Highway is about on par, maybe a hair less, but I mean, it has the the, the beadlock style wheels and the off-road tires and all that, so. Okay. Let's get in and start this thing back up. Steering wheel's got a nice shape to it. I like the, the flat bottom. I always like the flat bottom. Uh, you got your, so steering assist is on. Yeah, with cruise control. And then you can go through all of your driver information. I get it. So you got your speedometer. You can go over to your refueling. So it shows you what your miles per gallon were since you've refueled. Tire pressures, your four-wheel drive, radio, your uh, safety features, blind spot monitor, lane keeping, all that, forward collision. I like leaving it on, leaving it on the speed. And that brings you right back to this menu so you can set the, the warning. Okay. I want to go back to speed, though. There we go. So on the screen, obviously you have your radio. You can pair it with Bluetooth. And now, part also part of the Rock Creek is you do get this surround view from the top uh, with uh, object detector. So if there's like an object close to the vehicle, it'll actually warn you. Like I guess if you want to go around on trails and stuff like that with this. So that's pretty cool. You got your heated seats, dual zone climate control. Turn AC on because it's very humid out today. So these are your different traction settings for your intelligent four wheel drive. So right now we're in normal and we can twist it to whichever one we want. So we got eco, sport, tow mode. And then on the other side of auto, we have snow. Well, yeah, it's okay. Snow mud, sand. Cool. And then you can turn off your auto stop feature. Got a decent size center console in here. There's no outlets or anything. And then the glove box. Also not too bad. And then there's a little shelf right here with a rugged surface so this way stuff doesn't slip. Sunglass holder. Yeah, I like the special Rock Creek lettering on the seats and the console. And it's got like a copper stitching, like I said before, on the seats. Blind spot monitor in the mirror. All right. I think we're ready to take this thing for a ride. Okay. Now, this is kind of interesting. So there's an unlock button on the side here. If you want to put it in drive or reverse, you have to pr press it in and just pull back. Same thing with with, with uh, reverse. Push it, push all the way forward, then the camera comes up. And then you can just put it back into drive. And then this is park. Okay. All right. Let's do it.
Rides pretty smooth so far. Not really as much rumbling from those off-road tires as I was expecting, so the road noise actually is is pretty good considering the tires. I can definitely hear them a little bit, but that's actually it's not too bad. The cabin's pretty quiet, all things considered, with those. Just kicked down a little bit. The torque's still good coming up the hill. Drop it again, put it in manual mode, use the paddles. Not too bad, handled pretty well. Obviously it's a third row SUV, so there's a little bit of body roll, but handled very well. So, so far, ride quality is pretty decent. I mean, you, you can tell with the off-road suspension, it's a little bit stiffer. It takes bumps a little bit harsher than I would like, but still not too bad.
Okay. Onto the highway. Did a great job getting on the highway. V6 sounded pretty good. Set the uh, cruise control. Set that to. Set that to 70. Yeah, the steering wheel vibrates. It's fun. Spot monitor works. Some reason, the cruise control is giving me issues. Oh well. I mean, my takeaways from this thing so far is I would absolutely love to see how this thing performs on like trails and stuff like that. Like if I set it to like the mud setting and went on a like a wet trail, that would be really interesting to see how it performs on road. I mean, as far as the tires are considered, like I said, you can hear them a tiny bit, but they're not insanely loud, and I don't have to talk over anybody. The cabin's still relatively quiet. Seats are comfortable. Backup, cam <clears throat> backup camera works really well. You got the surround vision to the right side there. 
lines up right in the lines. Perfect. Okay. Very nice. Well, I think the fact that Nissan has like a it's an like an off-road based SUV that has three rows of seats. I think the fact that they have like an off-road focused model is really, really, really cool. I don't really see a whole lot of that. And I certainly don't see a lot of other brands using like a beadlock style tire on an SUV. So I think that, or wheel, not tire, but this is really nice. That's a mean looking front end, actually. I like that a lot. Especially with the little fog lights down there. And the scarlet ember is a gorgeous color. Well, I really enjoyed driving that. Uh, thank you again very much, Blaze Alexander Chevrolet up in Muncie, PA, for allowing me to do all these videos. Really appreciate it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did. And I'll see you guys in the next one.